Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the second example to implement assignment problem using branch and bound technique. Solve the following job assignment problem using branch and bound technique. What is assignment problem? How to implement assignment problem? We have discussed with one example. I will provide with both the link in the description for your reference. So now, what is assignment problem in the sense? Here, they have given n jobs with n persons. Here, our constraint is assign exactly only one job to one person. Okay, likewise, each job should be assigned to one one person. Okay, only one job should be assigned. Okay, such that the total cost of completing the job should be minimum. So, this is the given problem. The job and the persons along with cost of completing the job, they have given in a matrix form. So, here first step is we need to find the initial lower bound value. So, how we will find the initial lower bound value? Each row, we have to take the minimum cost. What is the minimum cost? And add all these costs, we will get the lower bound value. So, in first row, if you are considering minimum cost is 4. And second row, minimum cost is 5. Third row, minimum cost is 3. And fourth row, minimum cost is 6. Third row, minimum cost is 3. And the initial lower bound value is nothing but 18. So, this is the initial lower bound value. And this initial lower bound value, we will add up in the state space tree. Already we know assignment problem, we will solve using branch and bound technique by the construction of the state space tree. So, state space tree, initial stage if you are considering in the sense, this is the start of the state space tree and here the lower bound value is 18. And this will be considered as level 0. Okay. Next step. We are going to consider person A and for person A, if I am assigning job 1 in the sense what is the lower bound value, job 2 in the sense what is the lower bound value, job 3 in the sense what is the lower bound value, job 4 in the sense what is the lower bound value. So, 4 lower bound values we will calculate by considering person A. Among those 4 lower bound values, which one is minimum that we will consider and that job that is which cost is minimum that we will consider and that job we will assign to person B. Okay. So, that is the next step. So, next step assign various jobs to person A and compute the lower bound value. First, I am going to consider person A and I am going to assign the first job and the first job cost is 11 and I will compute the lower bound value. So, now I am assigning job 1 to person A. So, the same row and same column you should not assign any other job. So, its cost is 11 and the remaining rows choose the least one. So, here the least one is 5 here 3 and here it is 6 and the total lower bound value is 25. Next, consider person A and assign second job. Its cost is 4. Okay. So, the same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. Among the remaining jobs, consider the least one. So, least one here is 5, here 3 and here it is 6. Okay. And the lower bound value here is 18. If you are assigning second job to person A. Similarly, assign third job to person A and its cost is 9. So, same row, same column, you should not consider any other job. And among the remaining least one is here, second row 6, third row it is 7, fourth row it is 6. So, here the lower bound value was 28. Next, assign fourth job to person A. So, if you are assigning fourth job, cost is 10. Same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. Then, the, among the remaining, second row least cost is 5, third row least cost is 3, fourth row least cost is 8. And here, the lower bound value is 26. Okay. So, here if you are considering in the sense, if you are assigning first job to person A, lower bound is 25. Second job to person A, lower bound is 18. Third job to person A, lower bound is 28. Fourth job to person A, lower bound is 26. Among these four, which is least, the lower bound value, 18 is least. So, we can assign job number 2 to person A. We can fix it. Okay. So, we will construct the next level state space tree. So, 0th level, lower bound value is 18. Okay. And this will be considered as the initial state space tree. 
and this is level 0. And then consider person A and assign first job. Okay, so for person A assigning first job, lower bound value is 25. Next, assign second job to person A and its lower bound value is 18. Then assign third job to person B. A. Okay, and its lower bound value was 28. Next, assign fourth job to person A and its lower bound value was 26. So, among these four jobs, we can assign second job to person A so that the job cost will be reduced. So, we can choose the second job and that will be assigned to person A. Next step, Consider person B and then assign first job and check its lower bound value. Third job and check its lower bound value. Fourth job and check its lower bound value. Second job already we have assigned to person A. So, no need to consider for other persons. So, for person B, consider job number 1, 3 and 4. Compute the lower bound values and check the least one. Okay. So, next step, consider person B. Assign various jobs to person B by leaving job number 2, which is assigned to person A already. And then we have to compute the lower bound value. So, for person A, job number 2 already we have assigned. So, consider it as 4. And for person B, consider first job is assigned. So, its cost is 8. So, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. Then among these two, least one we have to consider. In this row, it is 3. In this row, it is 6. And the lower bound value here is 21. Next up, A is already 4. B, for person B, assign the third job. And its cost is 5. So, same row and same column, you should not assign any other job. For C, among these two, which one is least? 7 is least. For D, least is 6. Okay. And the lower bound value is 22. Okay. Next. For B, assign the fourth job. And its cost is 9. For A, already it is 4. And if you are assigning fourth job to B in the sense, same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. For C, least one is 3. For D, least one is, sorry, least one is 9. Okay. And the lower bound value here is 25. And if you are considering here, if you are assigning first job to B, lower bound value is 21. Third job to B, lower bound value is 22. Fourth job to B, lower bound value is 25. Among these three, least is 21. So, we can assign job number 1 to person B. Okay. So, with this, we will construct the next level state space tree. So, for B, if you are assigning job number 1 in the sense, the lower bound value is 21. Job number 3 in the sense the lower bound value is 22. Job number 4 in the sense the lower bound value is 25. Okay. So, among these three, which is least, we can assign job number 1 to B and its lower bound value is 21. And with this node, we will continue to construct the next level component of the state space tree by considering person C and D. Only two jobs is remaining. Second job we have assigned to person A. First job we have assigned to person B. Only two jobs is remaining. That is third job and fourth job. Third job assigned to person C and fourth job assigned to person D. Calculate the lower bound value. Similarly, fourth job assigned to person C and third job assigned to person D and calculate the lower bound value. Which one is least that we will consider. Okay. That is the next step. Next, consider person C as well as D. Okay, both we will consider here. Assign various jobs to person C by leaving job number 2. Job number 2 already we have assigned to person A and job number 1 we have assigned to person B. Okay, with the remaining jobs we have to assign to person C and person D and compute the lower bound value. Okay, so here if you are considering this is for, for person A job 2 is assigned and its cost is 4. For person B, job number 1 is assigned and its cost is 8. Okay. So, this is already we have assigned. And for C, if you are considering, assign job number 3. If you are assigning job number 3, its cost is 3. So, same row and same column, you should not assign any other job. So, obviously, only remaining job for person D is job number 4. Its cost is 6. And now, the lower bound value is 21. Okay. Next, for person C, we are assigning job number 4 and its cost is 
10. Okay, so same row, same column, you should not assign any other job. So, only remaining job for person D is job number 3. Its cost is 11. Okay, and if you are calculating the lower bound value in the sense, it is 33. Which one is least? Assigning job number 3 to person C, in the sense, we will get the least cost. So, we will choose to assign job number 3 to C and job number 4 to D. This is the final solution. Okay. So, with this, we will construct the next level state space tree. If you are assigning job number 3 to C and job number 4 to D, lower bound value is 21. Another option is assign job number 4 to C and job number 3 to D and its lower bound value is 33. Which one is least? This one is least. So, we will choose this one. Okay. And this is level 1. This is level 2. And this is level 3 state space tree. Okay. So, this is the complete state space tree for this given problem. Okay. So, now the final optimal solution here if you are considering in the sense. For person A assign job number 2. For person B assign job number 1. For person C, assign job number 3. For person D, assign job number 4. And the lower bound value is 21. Okay. This is the solution. So, here and all if you are considering, this is the, this will be considered as the promising node with the least cost. Okay. And in this level, this will be considered as the promising node with least cost. Okay. So, with this only, we will proceed to the next level component. So, this is nothing but the complete state space tree for the given assignment problem and this is the solution using branch and bound technique by constructing state space tree and this is the procedure to implement. Already we have discussed one example, this is the second example. Few more examples we will discuss under this topic, assignment problem using branch and bound technique. Thank you for watching this video.